Welcome to Perfect Tenses in English. This is video 3 in our four-part series on verb tenses in English. Make certain you have already reviewed videos 1 and 2, simple tenses and continuous tenses. You're here now, ready to do the perfect tenses. You have finished video 1, the simple tenses. You have finished video 2, the continuous tenses. So let us proceed now with the perfect tenses. Welcome to the perfect tenses in English. This is a worksheet. Level, grade 4 and upwards. Contents. Review. Questions. Memorandum. Concepts covered. Pronouns recap. Present perfect. Past perfect. Future perfect. Please get your writing materials ready. Be ready to read and speak along too. This worksheet explains the perfect tenses in detail. This video is also available as a PowerPoint presentation. Oral pronoun review. Please read and speak along. Even if you want to, you can make notes here. This is back to basics. If this is not properly taught and understood from the start, learners in later grades will have gaps and that will lead to confusion. So we have two sets here. We have a singular set of pronouns subject pronouns, first, second and third person, we have a second set of pr subject pronouns, first, second and third person. First person singular, I, that's me. Second person singular, you, the person before you or the person you're looking at. Third person singular, individuals, he, she or it. Plural. First person, plural, we, including me. Second person, plural, you, the group or the people before you that you are looking at or speaking to. Third person, they. Third person, plural, they. The people we talk about, they are not present. Or we are referring to them when they are in the distance. Conjugation of the for the verb be singular. First person singular I am. Second person singular you are. Third person he, she, it is. First person plural we are. Second person, plural, you are. Third person, plural, they are. NB. Apart from my study of English, in my study of German, Greek, Hebrew and Spanish, I have memorized countless paradigms, that means these patterns, in different tenses, actives and passives. So, don't leave any of these subject pronouns out. Some online teachers do unknowingly. When you transfer from English to other languages, you will learn many conjugation patterns or paradigms as we also call them. Therefore, you need everything where they belong. Later grades will have confusion and gaps in their understanding if it's not taught properly. So my appeal to teachers is please don't skip any of these and don't merge you second person singular and you second person plural because they are not the same. Oral review continues. Present perfect tense. This is our first engagement with the present perfect tense. It's an action completed or done before now. Please read and speak along, and even if you want to make notes for yourself, that would be great, but it's your choice if you want to do it. Now, we have three columns here that we have to study. That's part of English, and that's how I get my way around. Present column, past column, and past participle column. So the third column is my past participle column. I have to learn these things off by heart. Eat, ate, eaten, write, wrote, written, speak, spoke, spoken, finish, finished, finished. So how would I know 
which goes where and what how it works i just have to learn them off by heart so hang in there and get on top of these things because you're going to need it for life so i included the paradigm for us here for the present perfect tense there's my grammatical structure subject plus has or have plus past participle i have three columns here i have subject i have has or have column and i have the past participle the first column is just to make certain we keep track of the persons i have eaten you have eaten he she it has eaten we have eaten you have eaten they have eaten so if it is a singular subject excluding you or i it is has the teacher has eaten the boy has eaten the girl has eaten mom has eaten dad has eaten any of those they go with he she it or even the dog has eaten because it goes for non-human things let's have a look here at our graphic past and present past to the left that's how we make our timeline now is where we are at this moment now this action is completed before now sentences i can make from this graphic bart has eaten a sandwich now i want to make it negative so i'm going to include another object here has bart eaten cheese question no bart has not eaten cheese in fact he has eaten a sandwich is what we are saying here present perfect tense continued when completed or done before now general actions experiences not specific it does not say when or how many times all that matters is that it happened before now there's a graphic we have the present to the left we have the past we have two airplanes there and here are our sentences he has traveled by plane has she traveled by plane question negative no she has not traveled by plane we have another example here now where we are now the present to the left the past our sentence have you seen that airplane no, yes i have or no i haven't oral review past perfect things Please read and speak along. The past perfect emphasizes a completed action before another action. There's our table again with our three columns, present, past, and past participle for your convenience. Eat, ate, eaten, right, wrote, written, leave, left, left, finish, finished, finished. And now we have our paradigm with our grammatical structure. Subject plus had for all persons plus past participle. I had left, you had left. He had lived, she had lived, it had lived, we had lived, you had lived, they had lived. Here's our graphic. It's the past in the past. The action that is furthest back is I had lived. It's why I call it number one. The number two action is more recent, but still in the past. You arrived. So let's see what question or sentence we can make from this one. I had left before you arrived. You arrived after I had left. By the time you arrived, I had left. The past perfect emphasizes a completed action before another action. We are continuing. There's my timeline with the past indicated to the left. My number one action was homework done. My number two action is watched television. So let's take a comment first. I will use two sentences to construct the past perfect tense sentence. I, the older action of the two is the had plus past participle of the verb had done, had seen, had cooked. The younger action is a normal past tense, arrived, left or finished. Whatever the action may be, I will now join these two sentences using any of the following conjunctions. After, before, when, because, 
so by the time or by and then I can specify by dinner time by lunch time by six o'clock by three o'clock doesn't matter from the diagram I can make the following sentences by the time I watched TV I had done my homework now see that yellow corresponds with yellow and green with green or I watched TV after I had done my homework or before I watched TV I had done my homework or when I watched TV I had already done my homework I can use the conjunction in the middle or at the beginning the order of the sentences will then swap around if the conjunction is moved e.g. I watched TV after I had finished my homework or after I had finished my homework I watch TV the same thing happens if I use the conjunction any other conjunction oral review future perfect tense it emphasizes a completed action before another future action or event or point there's our table again with our three columns present past and past participle eat ate eaten write wrote written let's take our paradigm or pattern with our grammatical structure subject plus will have plus past participle will have for all persons i will have written you will have written he she or it will have written we will have written you will have written they will have written there's our future and now our actions one after the other exams are written and there's our future point so let's see what sentences we can make from this graphic by the end of the term I will have written all my exams or I will have written all my exams by the end of the term question will you have written all your exams by the end of the week my answer either yes or no yes I will have written all my exams by the end of the week or no I will not have written all my exams by the end of the week let's take another example first off the future perfect emphasizes a completed action before another future action or time or a state that continues to another time there's a graphic one two three matches and then the end of the season so let's see how we can construct a sentence from this information from this diagram I can make the following sentences by the end of the season I will have played three soccer matches can you see that the colors correspond I will have played three soccer matches the yellow or I will have played three soccer matches by the end of the season note the completed action takes the will have plus past participle of the verb second part is a phrase e.g. by tonight by tomorrow by next week by next month by next year by the end of the season by the time I am 10 20 30 40 50 60 100 or by a certain future event Christmas New Year whatever there's another graphic where it's a future action first thing that happened is going to church the second thing that happened that is further into the future is lunch so by lunchtime on Sunday we will have returned from church exercise one please pause the video copy and answer the questions before you go off to the memorandum one fill in the missing words there's our first graphic present now and the past and in between something else has been completed so a have you do skateboarding before no have not second graphic one returned to arrived sentence b mom 
return from the shops by the time I arrive from school. Third question. Number one, had studied. Number two, passed. C. I pass because I study hard. Number four. Number D. Now, past. Present, past. In between, let's see what happens. D. Has start to snow. Something you notice. Exercise two. Pause the video. Copy and answer the questions, please. E. The teacher. Three spaces. Our essays by the weekend. There's our graphic to help you out. Number F. By the end of January 2025, I, three spaces, go to the next grade. There's a graphic to help you out. Another graphic with the sentence, G, that truck, transport our goods. H, there's our graphic again. If you don't stop eating now, you finish your sweets in the morning. Exercise page 3 or slide 3. Pause the video, copy and answer the questions, please, before you go up to the memorandum. 2. Construct your own sentences from the jumbled info below. Now, they're not in the right order. So, A, I, comma, read 50 books, comma, by the end of June. B, baby had stopped crying. His dad arrived before. C, Always be he great guy. Question. D. Brakes had failed. The car crashed. Because. E. Cake flopped. She. Some ingredients had forgotten. So. F. Not meet. I. Him. Before. Memorandum number one. Pause the video. Mark and correct as needed. And if you found it tough and you made too many mistakes, you know that you need to come back to it and review from wherever you started making errors. Number one graphic. One. Fill in the missing words. A. Have you done? Do. Did. Done. Skateboarding before? No, I haven't. Or I have not done skateboarding before. Number two, or B, mom had returned from the shops. It's the first thing that happened. It's the furthest back, back by the time I arrived from school. C, I passed because I had studied hard. Where's had studied? The furthest back of the two, the further of the two. Number D, it has started to snow. Have you noticed? Memorandum number two. Pause the video. Mark and correct as needed. E. The teacher will have marked our essays by the weekend. The weekend is further in the future and uh, marked is nearer. Another graphic here. Number F. By the end of January 2025, I will have gone to the next grade. Now, supposedly you start school around the 15th of the month. So by the end of January 2025, you will have settled in. You will have gone to the next grade. G. That truck has transported our goods. It's just plain and simple, present perfect tense. Number H, if you don't stop eating now, you will have finished your sweets in one morning. It could have been your mom speaking to you, eating, 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 and then at some point, stop. The morning will be over. So at that point, you have to stop before that. Otherwise, you'll be finished in one morning. 
Memorandum number three, pause the video again, mark and correct as needed. Two, construct your own sentences from the jumbled info below. Now, if your sentences are slightly different, but you have the right things in the right places, it should be fine. A. By the end of June, I will have read 50 books, or I will have read 50 books by the end of June. B. Baby had stopped crying, his dad arrived before. The baby had stopped crying before his dad arrived. Or, before his dad arrived, the baby had stopped crying. C. Always be he great guy. Has he always been a great guy? Is, was, been. For past participle of B. D. Brakes failed cars. The cars brakes have failed. Or you can change this to the past perfect and then the sentence would be something like this. The car crashed because its brakes had failed. E. Cake flopped. She. Some ingredients had forgotten. So. She had forgotten some ingredients. So the cake flopped. F. Not meet I him before. I have not met him before. Thank you so much for participating. Pictures, own and online. Everything else, dirt could see. Please click like and subscribe. Click the playlist link for other videos or the PowerPoint presentation thereof in the description box below. Bye for now. See you soon again.